Hi all. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about mechanical translational systems. The model of mechanical translational systems can be obtained by using three basic elements. Mass, spring and dashboard. The weight of the mechanical system is represented by the element mass and it is assumed to be concentrated at the center of the body. The elastic deformation of the body can be represented by a spring. The friction existing in mechanical system can be represented by the dashboard. The dashboard is a piston moving inside a cylinder filled with viscous fluid. When a force is applied to a translational mechanical system, it is opposed by opposing forces due to mass, friction and elasticity of the system. The force acting on a mechanical body are governed by Newton's second law of motion. For translational systems, it states that the sum of forces acting on a body is zero. Sum of forces acting on a body is zero. Newton's second law of motion states that the sum of applied sum of applied forces is equal to the sum of opposing forces on a body. So according to Newton's second law of motion, the sum of applied forces is equal to the sum of opposing forces on a body. List of symbols used in mechanical translation system are X displacement in meter v dx by dt that is velocity units meter per second a dv by dt or d square x by dt square that is acceleration meter per second square f is applied force newtons fm opposing force offered by mass of the body unit is newton fk Opposing force offered by elasticity of the body that is spring unit is Newton FB Opposing force offered by friction of the body that is dashboard unit is Newton M is mass in kilogram and K is stiffness of spring in Newton per meter B is viscous friction coefficient in Newton second per meter. Next is force balance equations of idealized elements. Consider an ideal mass element as shown in the figure. Let a force be applied on it. That is F is the applied force. The mass will offer an opposing force which is proportional to the acceleration of the body that is F is the applied force and let Fm be the opposing force due to mass and this mass will offer an opposing force which is proportional to acceleration that is a and that is a is equal to in terms of x here x is the displacement so here we can write fm is proportional to d square x by dt square or we can write fm equal to 
the constant m into t square x by dt square and by newton's law that is by newton's second law the applied force is equal to the opposing force that is f is equal to fm and that is equal to m into d square x by dt square so this is the force balance equation of ideal mass element next is dash pot so consider an ideal frictional element dash pot let a force f b applied on it the dash pot will offer an opposing force which is proportional to the velocity of the body that is let f b be the opposing force due to friction and this f b is proportional to the velocity that is d proportional to dx by dt or we can write f b is equal to b into dx by dt where b is the viscous friction coefficient and by newton's second law f is equal to f b is equal to b into dx by dt so this is the force balance equation of ideal dash pot and this is with one end fixed to reference and there is another case that is ideal dash pot with displacement at both ends so this is the figure for the ideal dash pot with the displacement at both ends so x1 and x2 are the displacements so when the dash pot has displacement at both ends the opposing force is proportional to differential velocity that is here fbe is proportional to d by dt of x1 minus x2 that is fb is equal to b into d by dt of x1 minus x2 and here f is equal to that is the applied force is equal to opposing force fb and that is equal to b into d by dt of x1 minus x2 next is ideal spring so this is ideal spring with one end fixed to reference so here the spring will offer an opposing force which is proportional to displacement of the body that is here the opposing force fx is proportional to the displacement x sorry fk and this fk is equal to k into x and by newton's second law the applied force f is equal to the opposing force fk and that is equal to k into x and when the spring has displacement at both ends so this is x1 and x2 are the displacement at both ends for this spring and f is the applied force so here the opposing force fk is proportional to the differential displacement that is x1 minus x2 
that is fk is equal to k into x1 minus x2. Therefore, we can write f is equal to fk and that is equal to k into x1 minus x2. So, this is the force balance equations of idealized spring. The guidelines to determine the trans transfer function of mechanical translational system. So, in mechanical translation system, the differential equations governing the system are obtained by writing force balance equations at nodes in the system. The nodes are meeting point of elements. Generally, the nodes are mass elements in the system. In some cases, the nodes may be without mass element. Second one, the linear displacement of the masses are assumed as x1, x2, x3, etc. and assign a displacement to each mass. The first derivative of the displacement is velocity and the second derivative of the displacement is acceleration. Next is draw the free body diagrams of the system. Free body diagram is obtained by drawing each mass separately and then marking all the forces acting on that mass. Always the opposing force act in a direction opposite to applied force. The mass has to move in the direction of the applied force. Hence, the displacement velocity and acceleration of the mass will be in the direction of the applied force. If there is no applied force, then the displacement, velocity and acceleration of the mass is in a direction opposite to that of opposing force. Next is, for each free body diagram, write one differential equation by equating the sum of applied forces to the sum of opposing forces. The last one is, Take Laplace transform of differential equations to convert them to algebraic equations. Then rearrange the S domain equations to eliminate the unwanted variables and obtain the ratio between output variable and input variable. This ratio is the transfer function of the system. That is the Laplace transform of x of t is x of x, x of s. And Laplace transform of dx of t divided by dt is s into x of s. And Laplace transform of d square x of t divided by dt square is s square x of s. Let us do an example. Write the differential equations and determine the transfer function for the mechanical system. So, this is the figure given. So, here f of t is the applied force and x is the displacement. So, here f of t is the input and x is the output. That is f of t is the input and x is the output. And we can write the Laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s and Laplace transform of x equal to x of s. So we have to find transfer function output divided by input that is x of s divided by f of s we have to find before that, we have to draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram means we have to find the node. Here, node means the mass. Here, only one mass is there. So, this is M. So, this is the node here. Now, we have to mark the forces that is all the forces we have to mark in this node so this is free body diagram 
So all the forces, that is the applied force and opposing force, we have to mark here. And always the opposing force act in a direction opposite to the applied force. So here this is the applied force F of T. So first of all note down this F of T. Now the opposing force act in a direction opposite to the applied force. So there are two opposing forces that is one is by the spring and one is by the dashboard. So Fk is the opposing force by the spring and Fb is the opposing force by the dashboard. Also, the opposing force by the mass has to draw that is Fm. Fm is the opposing force by the mass M. So, this is the free body diagram, and here x of t is the displacement that is x of t is the displacement now we have to write differential equation by equating the sum of applied forces to the sum of opposing forces that is here f of t is equal to f m plus f k plus f b That is F of T is equal to Fm plus Fb plus Fk. So Fb, Fk are small letters. And Fm is here only one displacement. That is we, have, we can write m into d square x by dt square plus Fb is b into dx by dt plus fk is k into x now we have to take the laplace transform so taking the laplace transform so laplace transform of f of t is f of s that is equal to m into d square x by dt square so laplace transform of d square x by dt square is s square into x of s plus b into laplace transform of dx by dt is s into x of s plus k into laplace transform of x is x of s that is we can write m s square plus b s plus k into x of s so the transfer function the transfer function is x of s divided by f of s that is output divided by input is equal to 1 divided by m s square plus b s plus k so this is the transfer function and the differential equation is this one so this is the differential equation and this is the transfer function so let us do more problems in the next classes Thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share and subscribe my channel.